friends welcome back it is another trash to treasure video this is a diy i came across this little dresser a couple weeks ago and i almost passed it by and it was free so you know i couldn't i had to bring it home and i put it in the barn and it was less than a day later i knew exactly what i needed to do with it and exactly where it needed to go so come on along and let's tackle this DIY. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I am so grateful you stopped by the farmhouse today. I live in an 1860s farmhouse. I enjoy natural living, raising chickens naturally, gardening, and a whole lot of creativity along the way. So go ahead and hit subscribe and ring that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up if those are a few of your favorite things. Stay tuned to see what happens with this DIY. Here we are friends, here is our project. It is a four drawer chest of drawers kind of piece of furniture and it has pretty good bones. It is sturdy and strong and it's level. The drawers all work. Now these drawers have never had drawer pulls on them before, which makes me think that this is kind of an institutional thing. And I know it doesn't look like there's much wrong with it, but it does need some work. There are some nips and chips and kind of things going on. And you'll see uh, as I work on it, some of those issues that it has. So using my 60 grit sandpaper, I'm really roughing this up. Now this doesn't feel like regular wood. It kind of has like a composite feel to it that maybe it has some plastic in it. And it really challenged me with some of the things that I wanted to do with this piece. And you'll see that, I'll explain it as we go. But yeah, it really did have a different feel and a different texture to it. So it made it different. Now this took me a while to figure out. I wasn't exactly sure what was going on. The drawer wouldn't come out, but it has these neat little drawer pulls. So when the drawer pulls out, it stops on the front of the dresser and um, it won't come all the way out. So I like that because it's not gonna tip and spill. But you see right here, this little piece gets stuck right here at the front and that's as far as it goes. It's kind of like a, a stop, if you will. And I like that because the, some of the things that I'm putting in this drawer, I don't want them to fall out because you can always pull a drawer out too far and spill it. So I like that feature a lot. once it's all sanded down I want to be sure to go ahead and get in there and wipe off all the dust and clean out the drawers I want this really clean and ready for the next part of my project now the next part of my project is to make this look a little more farmhousey and a little more old so what I wanted to do was make it look like each drawer itself had four separate drawers. So I measured that out and drew it with my marker and I started this out with scoring it with a knife. I thought that would be enough but like I said this is more of a composite wood and it has like a plastic coating on it and so it didn't really take the scoring really well. So I moved on to a bigger and better tool. I got a saw out and this is not the saw I wanted. I lent out the saw I was looking for, but this one did the trick except for it had a slight bend in the saw blade. So I wasn't getting a perfectly straight line, but it did get in there and make a bit of a groove and I was thankful for that. But after a few tries with this, I did move on to another tool and I used what is more like a Dremel except it has a cord um, so it's a little more powerful and I decided to try that into creating my grooves in my sections on my drawer and that was going really well until the head flew off. Yeah I was pretty shocked by that like what the heck and so I had to get that back together and start over. 
that, however, did the trick, and for the rest of the project, using the Dremel type tool really did do what I needed to get done. It made the job go quickly and efficiently, so I was really happy about that. Now you may see some changes from this step to the next step where I start painting the dresser. That is because it was almost exactly three months from the time I started this project in November until this week when I finished it. And that is due to the fact that I had mentioned before, we had a lot of things happening. I had some issues with my computer. I had to take it in to get repaired. I lost a lot of footage from some videos I was working on. I had thought I lost this as well, but I had not, so I was very happy. And I found this footage, and at a time when I was ready to move forward with this project in my office for my office organization, so it all worked out great. So here I am painting, and I'm just using a gallon of that Walmart white satin paint pre-mixed and everything. I really like this for coverage. It's really inexpensive and you can use it and go a long way. Now I am gonna add another feature to this when I'm done and I'll tell you about that in a moment, but using this paint as your base paint really does help if you do a lot of DIY projects. It gets it done really fast. It's a great color and it's very inexpensive. This did end up needing two coats of paint, and I think it was due to the, the fact that this has that composite feel to it and that plastic coating. Even though I sanded it really well, this piece didn't drink in the paint very well, and so I had to go over it again and get a, a nice second coat on there. And I was very pleased with the second coat, and you can see how well it covered after the second coat. And now I'm going to add some Waverly chalk paint in white. Doing those two coats of the Walmart white um, made it look really, really good. But I do like that chalk feel and look to a piece. So this worked really, really well because doing this, you don't have to use a lot of chalk paint. So you can really stretch your chalk paint out because chalk paint is fairly expensive, as you know. And this helps stretch that dollar and make it look great because you don't have to use a whole lot. Now I went back over with some clear wax and I'm going to link these brushes that I'm using down below. I did get them from Amazon and I'm not linking them so you can go buy them. I'm linking them so that you don't go buy them. I was really disappointed with this brush. As you can see, I am picking at the dresser. I am actually picking out the hairs that are just falling out of this brush. Now this brush was brand new. I bought them because I have five or six chalk painting projects coming up. And so I just wanted to get a new set of brushes and I was terribly disappointed with this set. So when I link it down below, if you are going to look for brushes for any upcoming projects, please note that these are not the brushes you want to use for your project. 
I also ordered these drawer pulls from Amazon and I am really happy with them. They are super heavy duty. These were not expensive at all. I think it was like eight bucks for, um, I'm trying to remember how many there were because I ordered two sets and they are super heavy duty. They are very strong. I'm very happy with them. I will link them down below. Now you can see that my dividing lines to make the, the drawer look like there's four separate drawers uh, as an apothecary shelf or maybe an old-fashioned card catalog they turned out really well and the plan is to put one pull in each section and so that's the plan now I just took my ruler and I figured out the center and measured it all out so that I could put each one in the center the issue turned out to be that with this wood being a little more composite style it was really really tough to get into and those screws were super super tiny so I thought I would just use the screw and make a starter a pilot hole well that didn't really work either so I had to go back and get a new plan I had to bring in the big guns and once I got the proper tools it did go very fast and very easy so what I ended up doing is marking it out where I needed it to be and then I just went ahead and took a drill and pre-drilled the and see even the drill is having a little bit of a problem with this facing on the wood but once I did that then I brought in a driver that was a little more heavy duty and that worked really well and so it made the project go a whole lot faster having the right tools to work with and all of a sudden I had the first row done and I was very happy with that and very inspired to keep going so uh, first row is done now we're gonna move on to the second row and so on Now the one thing that these drawer pulls did not come with is a piece of cardboard to go down in there so that you can put a label on it. But I had actually just did a project where I cut up some cardstock that is going to be perfect. I'll just trace it and put that in there. And there you have it, our finished project guys. I am so happy with this project. I am so glad I got this finished up and can get into my office organization now. Thank you so much for coming by the farmhouse and please subscribe and like this video and share it and I hope you have the motivation and inspiration to finish all your DIY projects.